Hi all, this is your professor, uh, Ian Jones. Um, you've all received an email from um, the Chafee College Administration today about the college's plans to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I you know, strongly suggest you read that email carefully. In brief, um, it's uh, Chafee College is transitioning toward remote learning options, so online courses. Uh, and student support services to the greatest extent possible by the end of March 2020, so the end of this month. Um, this means that most of your courses were, will be going online as of Monday, March 30th. Uh, there will be some of your labs that you'll still do in person, as I understand, some of, your, um, some of the things that you can't do online necessarily, that we can't transition to that quickly. Um, but so, you know, that depends on which courses you're currently taking. For us, you know, since this is a hybrid course already, the transition should be fairly smooth. You're all accustomed to doing half of your work online anyways. So um, as of March, Monday, March 30th, you'll be doing all of the work for this course online. We won't be meeting in person anymore. So here are eight things I'm gonna talk about um, uh, immediately. So we have a two week spring break coming up. It was originally, of course, a one week spring break. They extended it to two weeks to allow time for the college and for students to adjust to this uh, new situation. Okay, so that's not going to extend the semester past the original deadline. That's that we're still ending on the same um, the same time in order to have this the summer semester and everything else. Um, so it won't affect that. It just means that you know we're taking an extra week away from school to make the adjustments we need to do. So that means. Um, uh, that's point number one. Point number two, um, this doesn't affect what we're doing this week, okay? So there's still things to do online that's, that are due on Sunday. So please do make sure that you take care of those activities, do those activities for Sunday. Nothing I'm saying in this, this message affects um, what we're doing this week online. That this, this, this week goes as, as scheduled because it's all online anyways. So that's point number two. Point number three, so instead of meeting once a week, um, uh, like we've been doing usually, all of our work will be online. I've already said this, but let me just reiterate. All of our work will be online as of Monday, March 30th. So I expect to be using perusal a lot, right? We're going to be going through our course text using perusal rather than discussing it in person. Okay, so expect that to happen. Uh, number four, um, I'm going to have to revisit the course schedule uh, for the rest of the semester because we're losing a week, right, with this extended March break. And, you know, some of the activities I had planned were uh, don't really work online. So I'll have to, you know, revisit some of that, of course. I'll have to see if we can do like a um, an online library visit or something like that. But anyways, there's a, there's a bunch of things we'll have to often revisit and make and change. That's why we have this two week spring break so I can make those kind of changes and the rest of your professors can make these kind of changes. Um, but, you know, for us, most of this is going to be fairly minor because it's already a hybrid course. Uh, and it's writing composition course, so there's not really labs or anything like that. Um, so most of the changes will be fairly minor. I'll get rid of some stuff, compress some stuff, that kind of, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I'll email you about this um, as I make the changes, okay? So you'll probably get a couple emails from me during the spring, this two-week spring break period, just to keep you updated about what's happening. Number five, uh, if you turn in a paper version of your second essay and your second letter to the reader, I'm gonna need you to resubmit this online via Canvas because I have no way of giving your papers back to you now. Um, uh, you know, I have a bunch of paper uh, paper copies of papers and I could mark them, but I have no way of giving them back to you. So I'm gonna ask you to resubmit them via Canvas so I can mark them online, give you feedback that way. In order to allow that, I extend the deadlines for these assignments to uh, this Sunday, March 15th at 11.59 p.m. Okay, so for most of you, this is just simply going onto Canvas and, and submitting uh, the, the assignment. All you do is go to the instructions for essay number two and submit it there. There should be a red submit assignment button uh, and then submit your letter to the reader in that, the instructions for the letter to the reader, okay? But you, please submit them separately. It just makes it easier for me to mark them, okay? So that's number five. Please submit a, a digital copy of your paper if you submitted a paper copy um, in person. Number six, uh, when we get back from our two week break, so Monday, March 30th, we come back to school. Uh, I'm gonna have online office hours via Zoom. I've already had online office hours via Zoom, but it's more like for appointment, um, by appointment. And a few people have 
has zoomed me this semester, but I'm going to be using that a lot more uh, when we come back um, to touch base with people. So, um, uh, yeah, so I'll have online office hours via Zoom. I'm going to post more about this in the coming weeks with instructions how to use Zoom. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You don't need to like install anything on your computer. You just need to open up the Confer Zoom button uh, and make an appointment with me. So it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, but I'll, I'll post a video about that. Number seven, um, so outside of this course, student services are still available online at Chafee, uh, even when we go online as of the 30th. So if you need to get a hold of uh, financial services or the records and administration people, they'll all be available all the time. In fact, I think most of them will be working on, camp on campus um, and you'll be able to contact them online. So all the services, uh, well, you know, most of the services, the ones that can run online, will be running online. Um, so, you know, don't worry about that. Um, and eight, the final point I wanted to make is nobody right now knows um, uh, how long Chafee is going to remain completely online. It might be the rest of the semester. Um, I suspect it will be, but, you know, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not the person in charge. So it could be, who knows, it could be a few weeks. It could be the rest of the semester. It's already, you know, the beginning of April by the time we start this. So that leaves us like, you know, five, six weeks. Uh, so probably the rest of the semester will be online, but don't take my word for it because I am definitely not the boss. Okay, so these are the immediate things I wanted to cover just to touch base with you before break and let you know that, hey, our course is still online, pun intended, I guess. Our course is still going ahead as planned, uh, minor changes for us, so I would, I would say. Uh, and I want to thank you all in advance for your patience during this weird, weird time. You know, this is unprecedented. This is uncharted territory. For all of us, uh, the school's never, in my, you know, my experience, my knowledge has never shut down like this. And you know, in this this digital age, it's it's even more complicated because then we try to do online. So, anyways, it's uncharted territory. But you know, over the last couple of months, I've seen you all engaging with the course material, both in and out of the class. And I've seen a group of students who are intelligent uh, and more than capable of dealing with this present situation. Uh, I've been very happy with the discussions you've had online, so I have no worry about taking this hybrid course and turning it into a completely online course. I think it'll be just as successful. Um, and I know some of, some people, you know, need that or benefit from that person to person contact. And, you know, so I'll be available every single day of the week. Well, not Saturday and Sunday, but every, every working day of the week, Monday to Friday, I'll be available via Zoom. So if you need, if you benefit by discussing things in person with your professor, uh, we'll definitely have that opportunity as well. So, um, you know, the rest of the semester is going to be a bit odd. There's, you know, there's no getting around it. We're going through some, some weird times in the country. Um, Chafee's no different. Um, but we can do this together. Uh, what's, what's, what did Cesar Chavez say? Si se puede, right? Yes, we can. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll be sending out more emails as I make changes to the course next couple of weeks. Uh, please look for those. Uh, and do email me if you have any questions or concerns. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.